All right, give me just a couple of minutes and we will get started. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Hey, what's up, Marty? Thanks for jumping on on this lovely Wednesday afternoon or evening. Kidding. Well, I'm not kidding that I'm glad that you're joining. I'm kidding that it's this afternoon. Ah, two more days to the weekend. Hope you've had a great week. Let me adjust my jack a little bit. Should I do the the old eighties look? All right, I'm eighty. Is it? I'm eighty. Is it tonight? All right. Show my age a little bit if I have to pull the collar up. <laughs> oh, I love Wednesdays. It's it's hump day, so I'm kind of like, don't know if I should be super excited because it's almost the weekend or if I'm like exhausted because it's already halfway through the week and I'm like, oh. All right. About another... 20 seconds and we will get started. All right. Marty saying I'm looking good tonight. Oh, hello, Joy. Happy Wednesday. All right, let me do a sound check. Whoa, okay. Sound check is sufficient. All right, let's go ahead and it is seven o'clock on the hour. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So welcome, mouth pagers. Shalom. Happy Wednesday or Yom Revi. -E. Yay, hope everyone has had a great day. I think I'm in a great mood. So I hope I'm in a good mood because guess why? It is almost the weekend. Pate. So I want to just kind of do a little shout out here. I've got something I really like, so I want to put it out there. So let all that breathes praise God. Hallelujah. Psalm 156. Kohan Shahamahate Hela Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, that's all my singing for the night. And see, if you guys get some some cantors for me, then you wouldn't have to hear my voice. But I love that song. Um, I love the words. I am Rabbi Yak, for those of you who do not know me. I'm located outside of San Francisco. Mouth Page is an online spiritual community. We are an online Jewish synagogue. So every Monday through Thursday, we do live weeknight motivations at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So please check out our service either on Facebook or on our website at www.mouthpage.com. Under the media tab, under live stream, under or now we have a YouTube channel, Mouth Page Spiritual Community. So for those of you who are new to our weeknight motivations, it is designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful, usually last about 10 minutes. So sometimes less, sometimes more. So tomorrow, I've got, um, I have to be on the road tomorrow night. So I will pre-record 
my my weeknight motivation. Probably I'll try to post around 6.30, but I will have it posted tomorrow, I promise. And my Shabbat service will also um, most likely won't be live either because I will be on the road traveling. So I will post that again also on Friday. But just want to let everybody know it will still be available tomorrow. You just won't have to um, see my 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 mug live, but you'll see it in uh, in recorded version. But it's still going to be recorded live tomorrow. So thank you so much. So so for those of you uh, who are new to our community, just want to let you know that our Facebook page is Mouth Page Spiritual Community. So please tell your friends and family and everyone. And let's get this place up to 3,000. So Mouth Page has been going live now for a little over six weeks. So thank you so much for everybody who's watching. Thank you so much for helping us grow our community. So please continue to help us grow worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more we can help grow spiritually. So please feel free to chat with one another on Facebook or on a live chat. So every night I post Mouth of the Days. It is our version of the Word of the Days. Check it out. I like it. I hope you guys do too. So thank you so much. If you happen to miss any of our services, we have them pre-recorded or archived on Facebook, on YouTube, and on our website at mouthpage.com under the live streaming. Just put your cursor and you'll see archived over there. This week's motivation, we are doing continuations of the Ten Commandments. So it's the 10, right? We're doing the 10. So tonight we are doing number seven. Last night we did number six, which was thou shall not murder. So tonight it is number seven. And those of you who might have missed a couple of days, I will do a refresher of the Ten Commandments. So I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery to be your God. You should have no other gods before me. You shall not worship false gods, false idols. You should not use the Lord's name in vain. Remember Sabbath day to be holy. Honor thy mother, thy father. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not covet. So number seven. Dun, dun, dun. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, that, that's it. All right. I don't know how else you can spin that, right? I, no, I'm just kidding. This is another one of God's commandments that doesn't have much commentary. You know, thou shall not commit adultery. How do you tell somebody not to cheat and be positive about it? I'm stumped. So please let me know. I'll wait. Da, 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 da. I'm just kidding. Okay, so how do you make this positive? Because this is pretty bad stuff, right? So let me go ahead and give you my take. Here's how I will make it, Todd, make it positive. But before I do that, so it is obvious, right? God's making this obvious here. Not to cheat, but what else can you cheat on? Hey, it's January was last month. What's the biggest thing that everybody does in January? New Year's resolutions, dieting, right? Dieting. How many have cheated on our diet? Whew. Right here. Cheating on your diet, right? How about your dreams? How many of us cheated ourselves out of our dreams? Wanted to do this, but ended up doing this? Our morals? Cheating ourselves out of our morals just to make a, a buck. How about cheating ourselves? Just cheating ourselves out of being the person we want to be. Cheating our friends or family. Cheating on our homework assignments. Cheating on working out. You know, you should be doing five miles, but you only do four Hopefully one of my friends is watching this because he will get a big kick out of this. But I remember when we were in ninth grade, we were in 
uh, what was it, wrestling. And there was a kid that always running around and he kept saying, you're only cheating yourself if you don't do it right. You're only cheating yourself if you don't do it right. You know, and it's funny because we're, you know, we're supposed to be doing like 100 sit-ups and we'll be like looking around, we're at 50, 100, right? <laughs> when you're only really at 50. <laughs> and he would run around and tell us that and we'd all laugh and we'd kind of giggle. But it's so true. You're only cheating yourself. If you cut corners, you're cheating yourself. Shortcut doesn't necessarily mean shortcut. I've taken shortcuts before, and it takes the longest time to get there. So, cheating yourself. Don't cheat yourself. You're only cheating yourself. I remember that. We're in practice and we used to get a big kick out of it but boy was that true cheating yourself so the last couple days or the last well let's see number seven so the last seven commandments I have broken it down so I'm going to break out break down no cheating no cheating so how can I make this positive how can I make no cheating positive? Because I could sit here and I could really get you all down on the dumps and depressed and tell you about all the things that go along with cheating, but I'm not going to do that because these are weeknight motivations to get you pumped, to get you excited, to get you ready for the next day. So, number seven, no cheating and never give in to temptation. Never give in to breaking your diet. Oh, I love the late night, late night little chips. Never give in to temptation. Don't let temptation cause problems in your life. Oh, observe God's laws or mitzvot. Mitzvot is commandments. Observe. I know a lot of people can say what they want about God. But when you look up every, every day and you see the sky, you see the clouds, uh, that's pretty darn amazing to me. So God pretty much knows what he's doing. So observe God's laws. Call or see, call on God anytime things are going south or sour or bad. When you wake up in the morning and you spill coffee on yourself and you're like, oh, and you're, you're running around and you have a flat tire, or you're having a bad day and just everything just seems to be piling on. I had one of those days yesterday. Stop. I call on God. I pick up the God phone and say, God, bail me out. Bail me out. Call on God anytime things are going bad. I mean, you can call on God before that too, but this is... This is God 1-1 one, one right here. God 1-1. One, one. Each, help others to be nice. That's my tagline, by the way. Help others to be nice. This isn't just a, I want to say this on this time or on this time. This is an everyday thing. Help others to be nice. Creating a pass-it-on mentality. Man, I turn on the news and, whew, I see a lot of, Upset people help others to be nice. E, even the smallest victories are huge. A, always put God first. Now, I know when I say this, my wife's going to smile on this one. But this is right here is what turned my entire spiritual life around. Right here. We were, my wife had this movie on. I was kind of walking by the TV set. And I heard this lady say to her daughter, does he put God first? And I don't know why, but man, did that catch my attention. Ever since then, God comes first. Always put God first. That changed my entire life. God first. T, teach yourself daily to be godly. What would God do? 
I, inside each of us, is something special. Hey, I don't look like much, but I'm special. At least that's my opinion. And, well, let me back up. I want to repeat this again because there's a lot of people out there who have bad days, bad months, family members are ill, loved ones have passed away, uh, getting bullied on social media, getting made fun of, of maybe somebody who you voted for in the political chaos that's going on, right? But you're someone, you're inside each of us is something special. Something special. And I mean special in a positive way. I know there's a lot of jokesters out there, but something special. Something special. You're something special inside each of us. And no, no. Just say no to the devil, to evil. Just say no. Say no. Get away. Just say no. And G. Give your time to others in need. Whether it be a family member who's sick, whether it be a friend that you haven't talked to in a long time from college, whether it be a parent, whether it be a, a sibling, whoever, give your time to others in need. And that, my mouth pagers, is no cheating. That's commandment number seven. We did it. We are almost to the 10. I hope you like my take on the, the 10 at this point so far. Got three more. So tomorrow we'll be doing number eight. So before we end tonight's motivation, I would like to close with some prayers and birthday wishes. So I'd like to pray for Bruce's up and coming surgery, Joanna who is still in the hospital with cancer, Rudy who is having surgery next week, Claire, who got rushed to the hospital um, a couple days ago. Uh, Brad's health. Uh, continue to pray that he gets better. Pray for peace in the world. Pray for peace in our country. We are going through uh, a lot right now. Uh, pray that we help each other to be nice. Birthday wishes. Happy birthday to Michelle, Tim, and Bujang. So happy birthday. Psalm 133. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity, not beat each other up, not make fun of each other, not push each other around, to dwell together. Dwell together. Hinimatov, umaynayam, shevet, achim, gam, yakad. Dwell together. All right, I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. So please check us out every day, Monday through Thursday, on Facebook, on our website, or on our YouTube channel, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. And on Friday for our Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Please check out our website, www.mouthpage.com. Don't forget to like us and follow us on Facebook or on our YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to us. I really appreciate it. Mouth Page Spiritual Community is our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Uh, send us any prayer requests and we will put those on uh, our Weeknight Motivations and our Shabbat service. Also a reminder, Mouth Page is a non-profit organization, so please feel free to donate wh whatever you can. So thank you so much. I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help, help others to be nice. Let me try this again. That's a tongue twister. Remember, help others to be nice. That's my tagline. Help others to be nice. God bless Lila Tove. I love y'all. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.